Yo guys, Henry here, and in this video I'll be sharing my thoughts on the Xbox Series X. I've been playing it on and off for like about a week now, and I've got to say it's like actually a really great console. So I'm going to share my thoughts and my experience with you in this video. So without wasting much time, let's get into the video. Okay, yeah, so before the intro, I would want to say this first. I know I said I was going to talk about my thoughts and everything, and this is actually a reshoot because... I realized there are a lot of people with their thoughts and then reviews and stuff online. So I'm actually going to share with you three things that I actually like about the Series X. And don't mind my change of clothes and location. So without wasting much time, let's get into the video this time. Okay, so the first thing that I actually like about the Xbox Series X or the first thing that I fell in love with is the design. I like the tower design. I know a lot of people didn't really like it because it looks boxy and stuff. It looks like a black box that you see from a future generation or an airplane or something. I actually like it and it gives me this vibe of a system unit or it has a system unit vibe. And then what kills me the most is the green dots or the green shade that is in the air vents on top of the console that makes it look like light or something when you're going near it personally i always use it lying flat i don't use it standing the standing catches or calls for more attention you want something that blends in into your environment or whatever you can just slide down and I like it that way. So yeah, I like that about the console and also the pad. I don't know if I should say I like this about the new console because I've always been a huge fan of the Xbox pad or whatever. But then this one, I like it more because it, had a, it has a textured back that gives you a bit of grip. And overall, I like, the, I like it. Also the share button on the pad gives you the ability to be able to take screenshots and also record videos on the fly and you can also share with your friends and show off maybe some drifting skills you've got in Forza or some crossing skills you've got in FIFA it's actually really dope and I like the part I don't know at this point I feel I'm saying so much so that I have the part I remember at some point when I used to go to game centers I always had an Xbox part not the wireless one the cable one and then anytime I went to the game center, I would use my Xbox pad because most of them, they would want you to use a PS pad that's converted to an Xbox pad. <sighs> I don't know why they do that. And yes, I go to game centers. Not like I used to, but then, yeah. So the second thing I actually like about the console is quick resume. Like, imagine how mind blown I was the first time I discovered it. Fine, I watched the keynote of the device launch. It was actually, they mentioned it, I was like, nah, it's one of those gimmicks. Seeing YouTubers talk about it, I was like, okay, cool, I'm not impressed. And then I tried, okay, fine, I forgot something like that existed on this console. Cool. I was playing a game and then I think I got a call, so I had to step out. So I decided to shut down the, um, the console. I went out, came in the evening, I was like, oh, hey, I would want to actually finish that machine. So in my mind, so the mentality I was bringing from, let's say, Xbox One or something, I came and I was like, okay, so I'm going to have a load time and everything. I turned the game on or I turned the console on, select the game, and then it continued from where I paused the game. Like, imagine the amount of time it saved me. So the time I was supposed to wait for it to boot up and then wait for it to load the game, I can use that to actually enjoy the game. No waiting time, just go on and then play the game. And opening a new game at fresh also doesn't take that much to load. So yeah i i think i've spoken way too much about this thing <laughs> but then yeah i actually like this about the game it, so the third thing i don't think is exclusive to the xbox series x or the new generation xbox consoles but then the fact that you can use xbox pass or game pass yeah the fact that you can use game pass to get games 
for free. Okay, technically not for free, but then for free, it's like Netflix, but then for gaming. On your console, it's just really cool. Because a game that will usually go for, like, say, $60, $30, um, $100 or whatever, you can actually get the game because probably you're part of a subscription or a monthly subscription service. It just blows my mind. And then the fact that if you have this account, you can actually enjoy the game on any other device that you have, let's say your laptop, your phone with Game Pass and those kind of stuff. Most of the games that I enjoyed on this console were all from Game Pass. And yeah, my takeaway is if you own or you're planning to get this console and you really want to enjoy it, you might consider getting yourself a TV that supports 4K and HDR for you to be able to enjoy it very well. Hi, so I'm about rendering this video and I realized I didn't talk about my top one feature or favorite feature about this console. That's the fact that you can actually enjoy HDR games on this console. That is if your TV could support it. So yeah, I think let's wrap up the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. But before I go away, I would like to give a huge shout out to Cyber Reviews and Byte Unlocked for being the first two people to comment on my previous video. If you want to get shout outs on my videos, you know what to do. So yeah, see you guys later.